Welcome to the lesson on the median of grouped data. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to define the median of grouped data and explain the concept of cumulative frequency. You will also be able to calculate the median of grouped data. Ms. Green Fingers is actively involved with the tree plantation programs conducted in her city. Here is the data for the tree plantation program Ms. Green Fingers recently conducted in 60 schools. The data is shown as a grouped frequency distribution table. Ms. Green Fingers has to find the median of this group data. Recall that the median of a given set of data is the observation that lies in the middle of the data. Observe the grouped frequency table. What do the two columns in this table represent? The first column represents the class interval of the group data and the second column represents the frequency for each class interval. Now, observe the class intervals in the first column. Each class interval has a lower class limit highlighted in yellow and an upper class limit highlighted in blue. Next, we'll rewrite the number of trees planted using only the lower class limits of all the class intervals. We can write the first class interval 5 to 25 as more than or equal to 5. Similarly, we can write the second class interval 25 to 45 as more than or equal to 25 and so on. Now, observe the number of schools in the frequency column. Will the frequencies remain unchanged or do these frequencies need to be adjusted as per the new class intervals? From the new class intervals, it is clear that all the schools have planted at least five or more than five trees. Thus, the adjusted frequency of the first class interval is the total number of schools, which is equal to 60. The adjusted frequency for the second class interval is not 8, but 48. Similarly, the adjusted frequencies for the remaining class intervals are calculated. This new adjusted frequency is called the cumulative frequency. Now, let us combine this table with the original table showing the actual class intervals. The table here now represents the cumulative frequency distribution of the more than type. There is one more type of cumulative frequency distribution. Let's see how it is calculated. Now, we'll rewrite the number of trees planted using only the upper class limit of all the class intervals. The first class interval, 5 to 25, can be written as less than 25. The second class interval, 25 to 45, can be written as less than 45. The other class intervals can also be rewritten similarly. Now, observe the number of schools in the frequency column. Here too, the frequencies will need to be adjusted as per the new class intervals. From the new class intervals, it is clear that 12 schools have planted less than 25 trees. Hence, the adjusted frequency for the first class interval remains 12. However, the number of schools that planted less than 45 trees is the sum of the frequencies of class intervals less than 45 and less than 25. That is, 12 plus 8, which is equal to 20. Thus, the adjusted frequency of the second class interval is 20. Similarly, the adjusted frequency for the third class interval is equal to 12 plus 8 plus 14, which is equal to 34. This adjusted frequency is also called the cumulative frequency. Now, let us combine this table with the original table showing the actual class intervals. 
The table here now represents the cumulative frequency distribution of the less than type. Preparing a cumulative frequency distribution table is the first step for calculating the median of the group data. You can use the cumulative frequency distribution of either the more than or the less than type to find the median of grouped data. Now, we'll use the cumulative frequency distribution of the less than type to find the median of the number of trees planted. The first step is to find half of the total number of observations. The total number of observations is given by the sum of all the frequencies and denoted by n. In this case, n is equal to 60. So, half of the total number of observations is equal to n by 2, which is equal to 30. Note that to calculate n, or n by 2, we use the frequency and not the cumulative frequency data. The next step is to locate the median class. The median class is the class interval with the cumulative frequency more than and closest to the value of n by 2. In this case, n by 2 is 30. The cumulative frequency of class interval 45 to 65 is 34, that is, more than and closest to 30. Thus, 45 to 65 is the median class for this data. The median of grouped data is calculated using the formula shown here. Let us see what each term in this formula stands for. The L in the formula for median stands for the lower class limit of the median class. In this case, L is equal to 45. The N in the formula for median stands for the total number of observations. In this case, n is equal to 60. The symbol CF in the formula of median stands for cumulative frequency of the class preceding the median class. In this case, the median class is 45 to 65 and the class preceding it is 25 to 45. This class has a cumulative frequency of 20. Thus, the value of CF in this case is 20. The symbol F in the formula of median stands for frequency of the median class. In this case, the median class is 45 to 65 and its frequency of value F is 14. The symbol H in the formula of median stands for the class size of class intervals in the given table, assuming all class sizes are equal. In this case, the class size H is 20. Putting in the values of different terms and calculating
we get the median of the given data as 59.28. We have found the answer to Miss Greenfinger's problem. Now she can say that around 50% of the schools planted less than 59 trees, while the other 50% of the schools planted more than 59 trees in her tree plantation program. You have reached the end of this section. Before moving on to the next section, let's recap the key points covered. The median of a given set of data is the observation that lies in the middle of the data. The cumulative frequency of a class is obtained by adding the frequencies of all the classes preceding the given class. There are two types of cumulative frequencies, the less than type and the more than type. Preparing a cumulative frequency distribution table is the first step in calculating the median of the group data. The cumulative frequency distribution of either the more than or the less than type can be used to find the median of grouped data. The formula for the median of grouped data is shown here. In this formula, L is the lower class limit of median class. N is the total number of observations. CF is the cumulative frequency of class preceding the median class. F is the frequency of median class. H is the class size of class intervals. Hope you enjoyed your learning experience.